hi everyone welcome back and yes I am pumping out some videos right now because I have some free time but this is a review on not a review actually a first impression on the Sephora black magic makeup palette recently hauled this haul it because I got the desert sunset palette and absolutely loved it and I thought okay this looks like pretty much the same kind of version if you look at both of them so I have a review on this palette definitely check it out and this is the what the black magic looks like and if you like to get my take see my first impression with this palette please keep on so well the palette is super nice and small and sleek it says black magic makeup palette i'm not fond of the name it doesn't bother me but it's so nice in terms of the packaging really nice and um comes with 12 eyeshadows and unlike the other palette it does not come i would say with a blush with a blush and bronze it comes with a blush and a highlighter and you do they do tell you like what if the colors like are um if they are what the names are which i did not do when i review when i did this i only saw it after yeah but they do tell you like you get a matte cream color a beige a gold color a white gold a bronze brown silver gray black glitter um navy blue matte dark green matte dark plum matte so you have in this one at least i am seeing four mats i know in this one we had a couple mats we had like one two we had two mats and like one or two satins but some of the colors did have like matte silvers and all that so it's not about this it's about this one so as usually it comes packaged like this nothing really expensive very sleek the you get a really good size mirror you can actually fold the whole palette over and use it and I like to actually stand them up on my dresser like this and just use it like that awesome so that's what the colors look like if you saw my whole video you would have seen me talk about how you can you have your nice browns here and your nice smokies here and you have matte smokies now when I'm looking at the palette here I'm not seeing the matte what they're seeing because they said that this last row here seemed to have been matte but it's not so like they say this is a navy matte but i am clearly seeing shimmer i don't know if you guys can see so the description is a little weird so it's a good thing i didn't go through the description with this because the description looks to be rather incorrect so that's a boo-boo but we want to know if the eyeshadows work if the products are great if we get some pigmentation get a good bang for your buck yeah so we will get started but i can tell you this the blush here is a matte coral peachy color and then the highlight is like a nice pinky champagne color if you have the inked and pinked Maybelline color tattoo it act this is what this looks like so I am thinking this could even be used as an eyeshadow you put that Maybelline color tattoo on and this color on your lid blend it out good to go yeah anyhow it's about the other shadows too right so love the packaging I really it's so small and handy good to go I am seeing like one already this color here that has like chunky glitters this one I'm seeing glitters but it also looks like if there is a matte somewhere there so Watch we the first row second row and third row and then lastly the two other colors so first color here is this whoa this is not matte I don't think so but because I'm seeing glitters in it then this silvery color which seems to be pretty much like a just a frosty metallic color this one looks like it has chunks of glitters and yes it's very chunky looking and then we have a matte creamsicle kind of color so let's swatch these on on my hand Whoa, wow that's like super pigmented it's coming off almost matte but you do see that shimmer in it yeah it's you see that shimmer in it so there we go you can see the chunky one in this one it's not um, blending out really well the silver is does not look as pigmented as I was hoping it to be but it's um, shimmery so that's the first row the matte oh I should build see if I can build on that matte plus I use my pinky to swatch it so you know that the, oh yeah the matte is, is coming out pretty matte looks a bit chalky though so we have the second row which has a matte looking kind of green color forest green then a darker silver which looks very pigmented and metallic then we have this kind of bronzy color that I think a lot of palettes are just going for these bronzy and then we have this like nice champagne color there 
so let's swatch these on my hand okay so can you see that that looks like it has it's a bit chalky it is a matte color so there is fallout and you may want to be very careful if you're gonna apply that color all right so the other colors are appearing to swatch much better they're all frosty or metallic kind of colors and they applied very smooth this one I would definitely say you have to apply it maybe wet this will make an awesome liner but it it's it has fallout and it looks chalky the last row wow this is that purple that it says a matte also you see the shimmers there but you it is transferring but it looks like a matte undertone this is the black with the, sh the glitter in it but you actually it's looking more it's not transferring some of the glitters are not transferring then you have this darker chocolate brown that's the oh that's gorgeous and then this other golden kind of color so we're gonna swatch that wow so there we have it those darker colors are pigmented but this black which has like the glitters seem to be matte but with glitters so the glitters can fall off but the these neutral colors seem to be so amazing I'm loving this combo here that combo those three there wow so onto the blushes and highlighter that's what they look like and we're gonna swatch it wow that blush is actually matte so I'm loving this pink color here this is definitely gonna be gorgeous with my color tattoo yep so that's a blush very peachy and I'm loving that highlighter it can be used as a highlighter and I also think some of the lighter colors like the from the top row can be used as highlighters for the cheekbones and all of that jazz so yeah this is what it looks like you can see your smoky colors here clearly and you can see your top I must say though I'm not as elated as I am with this and that's because I'm not a smoky person I think if you are a smoky matte person you're gonna absolutely love this I have not used it um, as yet so I can't say how much fallouts they are, what the stain power is at all, um, how the blush applies and all that kind of stuff. My first impression on this would actually be this is for somebody who likes more smoky eyes like you know and also neutral because you can go this whole row here and get a look or play around with these and there's a matte blending out color kind of thing highlights and that kind of stuff. Um, this would definitely this one would definitely be more of my go-to if you like smoky dark if you like dark looks then this would definitely be it because this palette here doesn't have so much of dark kind of colors this definitely will be your dark um and if you like mattes yeah they're pigmented enough for the cost they are definitely worth it how much would i rate this palette i would give this palette a four out of five I know I said the other one I was given a 10 out of 5. This one is a 4 to 5. I am not so much into a smoky look kind of person. Neutral as you can see with a little smoked out. Um, I love this color. This is actually my one of my favorite things. These bronzy colors. This is actually a chocolate kind of unique color. As if you build on it it's going to get very chocolatey. But it has this kind of reddish brown look to it. Which is very unique. And I actually do find it quite interesting so it's not going to waste at all but I'll give it a four to five um, I like how it has a number of colors I like that there is a blush and um, something like you said a highlighter or this can even be used as an eyeshadow I like that too um, yeah so uh, four I can't push it anything more than a four at all it, uh, 3.75 might even go because it's not totally practical packaging wise and everything it is really good and awesome cute looking definitely will be easy and to store put in a collection that kind of thing if you want a palette for your office definitely you can look at these two but that is my take on it hope it was helpful for you guys and stay tuned for many more first impressions and reviews so thanks for watching okay so i thought about it and i realized hey i am not going to be using this palette that much really i 
liked a couple colors in it but I'm not going to use it and I have not used it on my eyes and you've seen me use it for just watching that's pretty much what it is I've put it back in the packaging so if any of you guys want this I know I'll spray it out with alcohol and everything and you need to do that too if any of you are interested in just wanting this palette I'll give it to you um, I'm just saying that it has to be a subscriber. I'm not making it a big giveaway, not telling to to like or anything like that. It's just if you want it, if this person who leaves a comment below and say that they want it, you're going to get it. Um, because I'm not going to personally get, give it as much love as it should get and it's not fair to keep it. So, um, yeah, my I just went to pack up stuff and I was like, you know what, I'm not going to use it that much. I can give it to you, one of you guys. So if you're interested in getting this palette, just let me know below and I'll inbox you personally to see how I can get it mailed to you or, and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, you must be a subscriber, however, because this is so, you know, you guys who watch my videos. So just let me know if anybody is interested in getting this. And the first person, I'll message you. And if you don't reply to me, I'll just message the next person. If that is, if any of you guys want this, because if I don't get a reply, um... Uh, like within two days of posting this video, I will just go ahead and give it to one of my friends or ask one of them if they want it. So, yeah, let me know if you want it. Bye.